welcome to the Farm Show Arena. John Wilsbach with you tonight. Game two in the best of three. Baltimore Spirit versus the Harrisburg Heat in the first round of the NPSL playoffs. Harrisburg leading this series one game to none with a 17 of war, uh, victory over the Baltimore Spirit on Monday night. Harrisburg looking for its third straight sweep of the Baltimore Spirit in the playoffs, doing it the last couple seasons. And right there is Scoop Stanisek, a fine performance last night with seven saves against the Spirit. A big third quarter it was for Stanisek. And Scoop holding the Spirit to just four points. At the other end of the floor, Chris Vicaro will again be in net for the Spirit. He took the loss last night, kept it close through three quarters of play, and then the Heat opened it up in the fourth quarter and got some sixth attacker goals as well. But Abe McWilliams opting to go with Vicaro for this contest. Harrisburg and Baltimore, the Spirit in the red, the Heat in the white. And the Spirit are going from right to left. Glad to have you along on the Heat Soccer Network, both radio and television. In midfield, David Baskill working against Christy Asfal. Steve Siomez and Joe Rudy are your referees for this contest. The assistant referee is Harry Adams. From midfield, the ball is kicked out of play. It'll be a goal kick for the Baltimore Spirit. Baltimore facing elimination. It will not be a goal kick, it will actually be a kick in at midfield. And Tim Whitman will take it. Whitman will send it down the near side. Franklin McIntosh plays it back out to Whitman at midfield. Whitman sending it down into the heat zone, and McIntosh goes down. There will be a foul against Chinapu. Richard Chinapu claiming it was a dive. And free kick coming up here for the Spirit in the heat zone. Just underway, first quarter. McIntosh plays it in the box. Whitman trying to redirect it, and Henderson clears it to the side but can't get it out, and then Sloan comes up with it. Out of midfield, Mark Pulisic on a steal. He's got Danny Kelly moving down the middle. Kelly on the right wing, moves deep in the corner. He shoots and scores. Danny Kelly gives the Heat the early 2-0 lead here in the farm show. Mark Pulisic with a nice pass, playing it into the corner. Danny Kelly gets the goal, though. Pulisic intercepted that ball at midfield. Danny Kelly took it deep into the right corner, and Danny Kelly gets his third goal of the playoffs at the 45-second mark of the first quarter. Scoop Stanisek, veteran goalkeeper, in fact played for the Baltimore Blast in the MISL a few years back. Came here this past season before the start of the season from the Kansas City attack where he won a championship in the NPSL two seasons ago. Look out, Tariq Walker gets free on the right wing, shot, score! Tariq Walker nailed it inside the left post. And the Heat now lead it for another. Tariq Walker battling early in the season when he came here to the Harrisburg Heat from the Spirit. Getting the fitness going and the that he was played with earlier on and Walker right there with a booming shot hitting inside the left post. Time of the goal, 3-16 of the first quarter. Tariq Walker, his second goal of the playoffs as Baltimore kicks it out of play. It'll be a kick in for the Heat. Down the middle, Danny Kelly, a little give and go action. Chinapu, all tackled along the side. Marcano comes over there. Eric Marcano moves it down the middle. Askham trying to get a piece of it. Shot by Marcano is blocked by Lilly. Chinapu comes over. Look out. Here comes Tariq Walker. He'll step in on the breakaway. He shoots and scores. Tariq Walker makes it a 6 nothing game. Second goal of the game for Tariq Walker. His third of the playoffs. Now 6-0 Heat. Time of the goal, 12 minutes.
minutes and 53 seconds. Tariq Walker. Bob Lilly will get the assist. And the Heat lead it 6 0. Namazi playing it down the near boards. Jamie Christie setting it down to McIntosh at the left point. McIntosh working against Boardman. Franklin moves across the middle. His kick block out of play by Boardman. So to be a kick in coming up here for the Baltimore Spirit. Will restart. Left side Dieter, his kick is up and out of play. It'll be a goal kick for the Harrisburg Heat. Harrisburg with a 6-0 lead. Baltimore, their backs against the wall coming into this contest, facing, uh, facing elimination. Stanisek is going to put it on the carpet. Now get some pressure from Smith. He'll send it down the floor and head it back the other way. Kelly playing it on the far side. Danny Kelly playing it back over to Betcher. Bill Betcher steps into the left point. Left wing is Polisic. Left point, Danny Kelly. On the near side, Boardman going for the ball. is called for the foul to be a free kick for the Baltimore Spirit. Steve Boardman, very physical in this game. Brad Smith at the left point for the spear. Center point is Morgan. All played back out in the neutral zone, Stankovic. Outside Namazi. Moves to the left wing boards. He'll bring it back out in the neutral zone over to Stankovic. Bob Lilly trying to clear it out, but Brad Smith comes back over it. Lilly appears to be down and hurt. Injury timeout will step out. 45 seconds remaining. First quarter. Harrisburg 6, Baltimore nothing on the Heat Soccer Network. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. the field appears to be okay. Got tangled up a little there with Brad Smith, so the Heat team captain will go to the bench. Harrisburg restarts things in midfield. Mark Pulisic called for the pushing foul. At midfield, Mike Stankovic is on it. All the way back to Vicaro. On the near side of Johnson. Vicaro at midfield will move it forward. He'll dump it down into the left corner. McIntosh posting up on the left wing. Under 30 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Franklin working against Chinapil. Franklin moves out front. Johnson shot. It just wide. Hops back out in the neutral zone. And McIntosh will run it down. Franklin faking. Works to the near side. Plays it down into the heat zone. And knocked down from behind was... Baltimore's O'Kelly. It'll be a free kick for the Spirit with seven seconds to go here in the first. Restart taking place just inside the three-point arc. Stankovic, shot blocked by Bascom. The follow-up out of play. So a goal kick coming up for the Heat with four seconds remaining in the first quarter. And a 6-0 lead. Scoop Stanisek to restart things. He'll play it to Chinapu and they'll sit on it. We've played one here at the Farm Show Arena in Harrisburg. 
It's the Heat 6, the Spirit Nothing back on the Heat Soccer Network. Christie on the ball for the Baltimore Spirit. He'll step in center point. His kick partially busted up by Chinapu. Loose in the box. Christie can't get the shot off again as Bialek is right there on him. But Christie comes over there in the left corner. Wedged along the side. Cleared out front. Shot. Score! Chris Morgan found the ball right around the top of the box. And Morgan gets the Baltimore Spirit on the scoreboard. His first goal of the playoffs at 1 minute and 58 seconds, Chris Morgan. Jamie Christie will get the assist. Morgan, a product out of Elizabethtown College. Johnson, outside the yellow line, far side Dieter. Brad Smith, left wing board. Smith heel plays it into the corner. Centered in front by Jason Dieter and Scotty Anderson right there to kick it out of play. So we'll get a kick in coming up at the top of the arc for the Baltimore Spirit. They'll bring in that restart unit. Very deadly with McIntosh, Sloan, Whitman, Stangovich, and Brad Smith. Franklin, top of the arc, right side, Sloan shot, score! Kevin Sloan took a top shelf and the Spirit are within two points. Time of the goal, three minutes and nine seconds of the second. Kevin Sloan from Franklin McIntosh. That's the first goal of the playoffs for Kevin Sloan. At 3.09, it's 6-4, to four, still in favor of the Heat. But Baltimore now starting to connect. Anderson to midfield. His pass is blocked by Marcano. Comes back into the box and Scoop will grab on. He'll play it back out to Scotty Henderson. Crossfield passing it over to Chinapil. The Heat will restart center point of the yellow line. Danny Kelly will line it up. He'll approach. He'll pull the trigger bullseye. Danny Kelly with a three-point goal. And the Heat now lead it 9-4. There was only a two-man wall set up for Danny Kelly. So he said, what the heck, I'll take it. And he gets his second goal of the game, his fourth of the playoffs. An unassisted goal. A three-pointer at eight minutes and 40 seconds of the second quarter. We've got timeout. Here at the Farm Show Arena, Harrisburg 9 and Baltimore 4. So Tim Whitman restart things, playing it to Sloan. Down into the heat zone, Brad Smith, left wing, plays it back out. Brad Smith got tripped up from behind. It'll be a blue card against the Harrisburg Heat's David Basco. So Basco will walk to the penalty box. Tripped up Brad Smith from behind. The Heat argue that Brad Smith had tripped up a few players in this game and only got fouls. But this time they pull the card, the first card of the game on Bascom. And we'll get the first shootout of the contest coming up. Two minutes for tripping on David Bascom. And Kevin Sloan comes in to take the shootout for the Baltimore Spirit. Sloan will have five seconds to put it in past Stanisek for a one-point goal. Kevin Sloan taps it forward. Shot saved by Stanisek. And the chant of scoop comes out again. Scoop during the regular season stopped 13 of 20 attempts. Right there stopping Kevin Sloan. Power play here for the Baltimore Spirit and stand a second other kick save. Chris Vicaro with the ball played out to McIntosh. Sloan on it. Back to Franklin. He'll play it on the left side. Stankovic kick deflected in by Tim Whitman. 
Tim Whitman, a one-point power play goal. Stankovic sent it into the box. And Whitman redirected it. So Bascom comes out of the penalty box, and Whitman will get the one-point power play goal. Time of the goal, 9.27 of the second. Whitman from Stankovic. It's 9-5 in favor of the Heat. Stankovic was in some traffic over on the left wing boards, but had a nice pass into Whitman. He had bodies all over him, but got the foot on it and just redirected it. Things up and now put it on the carpet. He'll bring it outside the yellow line, sending it down the near side. Brad Smith in the heat zone. Goes to the right wing. Chinapu pokes it away and Lily comes up with it. And then got tripped up trying to clear down the blue card against Brad Smith. Yeah, he got away with it a few times in this contest, but one too many there for referee Joe Rudy. And Brad Smith will go to the penalty box and will get the first shoot out of the game coming up for the Heat. comes on to take the shootout. He's got five seconds to go against Chris Vaccaro. He was one for two last night on Vaccaro. Danny Kelly will move it forward. He'll shoot and another save by Vaccaro. He's still on the man advantage for ten more seconds. Lilly, right side pass. Betcher pulls the trigger just wide. Hops back out in the neutral zone. Danny Kelly is on it. Five more seconds. Kelly's kick. Partially deflected, Betcher, right corner for Bascom. Blocked in front by Vaccaro and cleared back out. Seven seconds to go, power play over. Richard Chinapu sends one into the Baltimore zone. Clear to the side, Whitman and Pulisic on it, and that'll do it. We played one half here at the Farm Show Arena. Harrisburg nine, Baltimore five. Stay tuned for the halftime show coming up on the Heat Soccer Network. From Baron Scoop, gets knocked down by Barry Stitch after grabbing on, it's just a foul. Stanisek will restart things. Bob Lilly with the ball will play it back to Scoop. And Scoop will dribble it out himself and then send it all the way down the floor. That's a three-line violation on Stanisek, so they'll bring it the other end of the floor. Free kick coming up center point of the yellow line for the Baltimore Spirit. McIntosh to restart things. Franklin plays it down the post, and Scoop has to run out and punch it away. It'll be a kick-in coming up at the top of the arc. McIntosh was looking for Jamie Christie on the right post. Franklin to restart at the top of the arc. He'll shoot, he'll score! Franklin McIntosh, upper left corner. Really no way you can stop that one. Franklin McIntosh's first goal of the playoffs at 4 minutes and 36 seconds. An unassisted goal, and the Heat are holding a two-point lead. So Franklin McIntosh on the restart at midfield, Brad Smith. On the carpet, trying to win it away. Ball sent down the middle, look out. Brad Smith's going to step in on a breakaway. He'll shoot, saved by Stanisek. Smith side. Baltimore really keeping the pressure up. Chris Morgan, Violek, Jamie Christie, and then Violek gets it back to Chinapu. Pulisic, top of the arc, moves to his right. Shot blocked by Stankovic. Chinapu trying to get it again, is pushed from behind. Pulisic and Stankovic have been battling all game. Restart coming up. Right point of the Baltimore zone. Out front, Bialak shot, score! Tom Bialak! A three-point goal! No, it's only two. Bialak just inside the three-point arc. A two-point goal. Steve Siomez 
walks over to the assistant referee, Harry Adams, and talks about it. Joe Rudy will also come over. No, he won't. They're going to give him a three-point goal. Time of the goal, five minutes and 48 seconds. I thought for sure Bialek was inside the three-point arc. But the Heat will get the call their way. Richard Chinapu gets the assist. 12-7. In favor of the Heat, Bialek's second goal of the playoffs. A three-pointer. Tariq Walker with the ball, right wing boards trying to get in the corner, but Vaccaro will come up with it. Vaccaro's going to whip it all the way down into the right corner. Right side of Kelly's shot goes wide, comes out to Sloan on the left wing. Sloan works towards the top of the box, shot again, saved by Scoop, shot wide in front, Marcano, kick saved by Scoop, loose in the box, and Scoop will pick pocket into the foot, and Scoop will bring it back down the neutral zone. He'll play it down the near side, look out, here come the Heat on a two-on-one, making a three-on-one. Lily moves to the right wing, shot saved by Vaccaro. Ball bounces back out near the yellow line, and here come the Spirit the other way. Down the near shot, Derek Marcano will slow it out of the yellow line. He'll play it to Sloan, center point to Whitman in the left corner. Tim Whitman with the ball, taking his time, 12-7 in favor of the Heat. Marcano, top of the arc, shot up into the crowd, out of play. Scoop Stanisek will send it down the middle of the floor, headed back the other way by Namaji. Bialek will head ball it back in. Melissa comes up with it. Moves to his right near the top of the arc. Now got tripped up. It'll be a foul against Namaji. And a free kick coming up for the Heat. Right at the three-point arc. Quickly, Chinapu will play it in the corner. Score! Manny Uden! Manny Uden unattended in the right corner, and Chinapu saw him and quickly approached. Baltimore was not set up in the heat of opening it up to a seven-point lead, their largest of the game. Manny Uden, who we talked about a few moments ago, one of those reserve players, getting his first shift of the game and scoring. Time of the goal, eight minutes and 16 seconds. Manny Uden from Richard Chinapu. And we've got timeout on the court. 44 to go in the third. It's Harrisburg 14 and Baltimore 7 back on the Heat Soccer Network. Pascom. He's got Whitman on his back. Pascom double teamed along the side. Stolen away by Whitman. He'll get it out to Marcano. Marcano will send it all the way down to the Heat zone. It goes off of Lilly into his own zone. So that's an over and back violation as Lilly tried stopping it outside the yellow line. Eight seconds remaining in the third quarter. Harrisburg leading by seven points and a free kick coming up here for the Spirit. McIntosh will approach. He'll shoot. Saved by Scoop. Dieter has it left wing. Centered in front, but kicked high out of play by O'Kelly. It'll be a goal kick for the Heat with four seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Kelly got that ball back right in front, but popped it high. And the Heat will sit on it here to end the third quarter of play. We've played three at the Farm Show Arena. It's Harrisburg, 14, Baltimore, 7. Back with the fourth quarter on the Heat Soccer Network. Franklin McIntosh on the opposite side of Tim Whitman. Whitman steps into the left point, moves to the left corner. Sends one around the boards in front, shot by Johnson. Score! Jamie Christie. Johnson tried getting a piece of it, it popped loose, and Jamie Christie comes up with a goal. Franklin McIntosh may get the assist. I think Johnson will get credit with the assist. Yep, Christie from Johnson at three minutes and 12 seconds of the fourth, and Baltimore is now within five points. is the score in favor of the Harrisburg Heat. More spirit. Left point to Franklin McIntosh. Out to Tim Whitman at the yellow line. Near side to Whitman. Check that. Jamie Christie. Christie steps in. Moves to the right side. Shot just wide. 
Hagenjosh has it on the left wing. Franklin faking, shot blocked again by Boardman. Comes out to Tim Whitman now. Whitman moves to the left wing. His shot wide, loose in the box, score! Jason Dieter follows it in. And the Spirit are within three points. Time of the goal, six minutes and 44 seconds. Jason Dieter. His first of the playoffs. And it's Harrisburg 14 and Baltimore 11. Jason Dieter from Tim Whitman. 14 to 11. The Spirit are within three. Stankovic in his own zone, getting it back to the Caro. And the is going to whip it down the floor. Chinapu trying to get to it, but Derek Marcano comes up with it. Bascom wins it away in the neutral zone. David Bascom in center circle is fouled. It'll be a free kick for the Harrisburg Heat. Leaning back, throwing some elbows, keeping good ball control. Chinapu breaks it up, and that's who comes up with it. The Caro is out of net, scramble to the bench. The sixth attacker is on with under three minutes to go. That's Kevin Sloan. Sloan is your sixth attacker. Baltimore has pulled the goalkeeper, trailing by three. Ball set down the heat zone. Richard Chinapu comes up with it, trying to clear it out, goes down on the carpet. And the foul will be called against the Baltimore Spirits' Tim Whitman. So Chris Vaccaro's job is done at this point. Unless Baltimore can get him back in it real quick. Sloan is in as the sixth attacker. Chinapu restarts. Bob Lilly in the neutral zone. Works it down the airboards. Lilly will play it opposite side. Fetcher head balls it into the right side. And Sloan grabs on along the post and rolls it back out in the neutral zone. Back to McIntosh with the ball. Back to Sloan. Kevin Sloan has played in 15 games this season. As the sixth attacker, he is 2-1, and one, so the Spirit know how to get things done with the extra man. Danny Kelly near the top of the box, Chinapu trying to break it up. Barry Stitch comes back up with it, sent back into the heat corner. Tim Whitman is on it off the boards, cleared back out by Bob Lilly. Two minutes to go in the contest. Harrisburg leading 14-11. Sloan plays it along the right wing boards to Namazi, back out to Sloan. Left side to Stankovic. Mike Stankovic plays it along the left wing. Shot wide. Whitman couldn't finish it off. Look out. Scotty Henderson has it. Trying to clear it out, but didn't know what to do with it. Stolen away by Chinapu. So that's your long kick down. Intercepted by Stankovic in the neutral zone. Mike Stankovic along the near side of Kevin Sloan. Sloan will play to McIntosh at center circle. 1.30 remaining in the contest. Stankovic dumps it down the left corner. Loose ball to the right side. Sloan's kick partially blocked. Chinapu clears it out in the neutral zone. Henderson with a bicycle kick. It's going to be Stankovic against Danny Kelly, and Stankovic sends it the other way. Headed towards the middle, and Chinapu comes over it. Down to Henderson. Over the far boards to Boardman. He fanned on the kick. Namazi comes over it, steps into the left wing. Namazi ball tackled nicely by Steve Boardman. He'll get it out to Danny Kelly. Kelly double team, pops it loose, and Stankovic comes over it again. One minute remaining in the contest. Harrisburg leading by three. Baltimore facing elimination. On the near side, Mike Stankovic works. Shot down the middle, a three-pointer just wide. McIntosh could not finish it off, and Scoop holds. Scoop's going to take his time, wants to settle things down with a timeout. We will step out. 43 seconds remaining in the game. Harrisburg 14, Baltimore 11 back on the Heat Soccer Network. Cleveland, that's this coming Friday night. Harrisburg to restart in their own zone. Tim Whitman lining up, kind of wants to challenge. Scoop Stanisek will get the ball. Stanisek is going to whip it down the floor. Namazi will headball it high in the air and out of play. It'll be a kick in for the Harrisburg Heat of midfield. Amit Namazi. Trying to keep it in play. Baltimore needs a three-pointer to tie this game up. 34 seconds remaining. Richard Chinapu plays it opposite side. Bob Lilly sends it into the corner. Sloan is on it and will grab. Evan Sloan will bring it back the other way. Baltimore needs a miracle to tie it. Stankovic in the neutral zone. 
Here's side of McIntosh. Franklin McIntosh works right. His kick. Score! A three-point goal deflected in. This game is tied at 14. Franklin McIntosh. A three-point goal. It deflected off of a player into the back of the net. 15 seconds remaining. And it's not over yet. in net. We may be headed in overtime on this one. Franklin McIntosh, his second of the game and playoffs. A three-pointer at 14.45. Jennifer sends the ball down in the corner. Portman is on at eight seconds to go and the Caro dives out and grabs on. Five seconds to go. And Carroll will send it down to the heat zone. And that'll do it. We are headed into sudden death overtime. The first one that scores will win the contest. And there is life for the Baltimore Spirit. We'll advise our stations we'll be taking a 60-second timeout. We're tied at 14 after regulation. Harrisburg and Baltimore on the heat soccer network. Peter brings it back the other way for the Baltimore Spirit. We are in sudden death overtime. Danny Kelly intercepts the ball in the neutral zone. Down the near side for Tariq Walker. Meanwhile, we've got a fight at the other end of the floor as Betcher and Jason Dieter were grabbing each other's shirts. And now we've got a stoppage of play and a foul. A blue card against both Lance Johnson and Danny Kelly. Both will go to the penalty box. Both were clutching and grabbing. Out at midfield on the far side of the floor, Bill Betcher was also clutching and grabbing on the carpet with Jason Dieter. We will most likely get two minute unsportsman likes for Danny Kelly and Lance Johnson. There will be no shootout, probably no misconducts. If that is the case, teams will play with a four on four as Danny Kelly gets a couple words into Johnson. Danny Kelly is definitely one player you want on the field for the Heat. He led the team this season in penalty minutes. Johnson being silenced by his teammates. He doesn't want to pick up an extra five minute misconduct. And now Mamazi walks over in front of the bench and yapping it away at Danny Kelly. So the intensity is picked up here at the Farm Show Arena as Baltimore has come back from a 14-7 deficit and tied this game at 14. Two minutes each on sportsmanlike conduct. So now for the next two minutes, both teams will play with a four versus four. something more serious than uh, an unsportsman like because if they are there will be shootouts striking is the call so both teams will get a shootout wow what a gutsy call by the referees you think they wouldn't want to settle it through a shootout and they will and Franklin McIntosh will get one and then the Heat will get one Franklin McIntosh has five seconds against Stanisek Moves it down the middle, fakes, has scoop out of position, he scores! But the game is not over yet. McIntosh gets the hat trick. The Heat have a chance now to tie it up or lose. Danny Kelly, the main shootout taker for the Heat in the penalty box. And David Bascom will come on for the Harrisburg Heat, feeling the pressure. David Bascom this season, three for five on the shootout. He's notorious for just taking his time, playing it forward, and tapping it. Chris Vaccaro can win the game here and send it to a game three. Bascom down the middle. Score! We remain tied at 15 apiece. And now we'll have a two-minute four versus
This is for David Deska, Calm, Cool Collective. Time of the shootout goals, one minute and 27 seconds. That's his third of the playoffs. And now we go back to the sudden death. Since there were dual penalties that time, both teams got a chance on the shootout. Now the sudden death comes back into play. Whoever scores first will win this contest. We're early on here in overtime. John Wills back with you. Glad to have you along. Bob Lilly will send it down the near side. Hope back out the neutral zone. Kevin Sloan comes over there. Shot just wide. Scoop will grab on and whip it the other way. Ball sent all the way down for Polisic, but Dieter comes up with it. Holding bound up is a uh, unintentional handball on Mark Polisic. Re kick for Baltimore. This Vicaro comes up with it. Hearts beating rapidly here at the farm show. Ball pops loose down the heat zone. Scoop will get it off the boards. Lance Johnson and Danny Kelly both in the penalty box. Scoop Stanisek. Plays it down into the Baltimore zone. David Baskell, shot just wide. Ball pops back out front. Kevin Sloan is on it. Ball tackled by Chinapoo. Long kick down the floor into the heat zone. Jamie Christie plays it off the board. Sloan, left wing. He's free, but blocked by Chinapoo. Sloan again. Moves to the corner. Knocked away. Scoop will clear it down the floor. Chris Vaccaro comes over it. Plays it out the neutral zone to amid Namazi. Namazi will send it down into the left corner. Sloan's got Chinapu on his back. Sloan out front. Holding. Leaves it for Christie. Christie shot. Kick saved by Stanislaw. Ball comes out front. Chinapu with a head ball. Polisic will clear down the neutral zone. Christie comes up with it for the Baltimore Spirit. Plays it back to the Carroll outside the yellow line. Chris McCarroll will send it back into the heat zone. Nobody home. So Chinapu will leave it for Stanisek and Chinapu will bring it back the other way. 12 minutes remaining in sudden death. Tied at 15. Chinapu sending the ball down to Tariq Walker. But stolen back away by the Baltimore Spirit. On the near side, Barry Stitz plays it back to Morgan. At midfield to O'Kelly on the near side to Stitz. Stitz works it down the middle, works towards the yellow line. Makes, works. Catcher pulled down from behind. It'll be a foul against the Baltimore Spirit. So the heat restart things. Boardman sends a line drive down in the left corner of the Baltimore zone. Tariq Walker plays it back out the neutral zone. Scott Anderson sends one wide. Knocked down by Stankovic. Picked up by McCarra. McCarra will play it out the neutral zone. The four versus four is over. Teams at equal strength. 5v5. Sloan in the neutral zone. Right side Stankovic back down the neutral zone to Johnson. Lance Johnson will play there on the left side of Kelly down the middle. Ball pops away from Sloan. Scoop will come up with it. Scoop will roll down the neutral zone. Danny Kelly brings it the other way for the eight. Kelly steps into the left point. Hard shot. Deflects. Loose in the box. Stankovic will clear it. Back down the neutral zone. Kevin Sloan comes over there working it down the left side. Crossfield passing it on the near side to McIntosh. He'll fake, he'll work. His kick blocked out of play by Henderson. So a kick in coming up for the Baltimore Spirit. Right wing of the heat zone. 3,500 fans on hand here at the Farm Show Arena. Baltimore with a chance here on the restart. Right wing of the heat zone. McIntosh holding out front. Sloan saved by Stanisek. Chinapu will clear down the neutral zone. Look out, it's a breakaway for the heat. Danny Kelly's going to step in, but he has it knocked away from behind. Back the other way come the Baltimore Spirit. Lance Johnson runs it down the middle and slows it up in midfield. Johnson poked away by Danny Kelly. Henderson comes over it out to Chinapu. Foul called against the Baltimore Spirit. Free kick for the heat. 10.30 remaining in sudden death overtime. Tied at 15. Chinapu will send it down to Mark Polisic. Steps in right point. Shot just wide. Out front. Boardman shot. Oh, just over the crossbar out of play. Oh, the shots are flying. Steve Boardman, former Baltimore player, coming over to the heat this season. Woo, was that a rocket. Tied at 15. Baltimore and Harrisburg. 
Ozzie will play it back to the Kara. Kara not sure what to do with it. Will now put it on the carpet. He'll bring it outside the yellow line. And Kara sends it down the middle of the floor looking for McIntosh. Poked away by Chinapu. Betcher comes up with it. Sends it down the floor. Stankovic has it. Off the boards. Back to the middle. Stankovic steps in. Shot. Hand saved by Scoop. McIntosh. His shot blocked by Chinapu. Scoop will grab it again. Scoop will hold on. Not sure where to go with it. Scoop is going to have to put it on the carpet himself. Scoop will play it down the middle of the floor. He's got Danny Kelly near center circle. Stolen away by Stankovic. Mike Stankovic steps in. Left side. Scoop comes out. Score! Oh, Kelly puts it in. This series is tied at one game apiece. Oh, Kelly from the left wing wins it. 17 to 15 for the Baltimore Spirit. Deciding game. Pat O'Kelly from Mike Stankovich at 523 of overtime. Baltimore 17. Harrisburg 15. We invite you to stay tuned for the post game show coming up on the Heat Soccer Network. A uh, 17 there, Gabe.